Hey people, today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a cute everyday look. So if you want to keep watching, please do and make sure to like and subscribe. To start us off, I'm going to be using the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. Isn't she beautiful? She's lovely. I'm going to start with the shade 1985 as a transition color. She's just, she's pretty cute. She's look right there. <laughs> she's cute. Um, we're going to put her right in my crease. And I'm using, I'm packing it in right now as I will be blending this out. So we can have that nice little color. Is it? She's just matte. Um, transition colors should be matte. We really don't like putting uh, hmm, what's the word? shimmers or like like shimmers or glitters, anything really in the crease. Um, so that's why I'm using this color, and it should be closer to your skin color. Like normally, I would probably use the color Lynn, but since we're just gonna be using a browner, a browner, more of a brown look, neutral. Um, I just wanted to use this color to help it blend in more next i'm going to go in with the shade mr diva and i'm kind of going to layer that on and then i'm going to blend it out with this type of brush mr diva is the shade right below it and she's just a little bit darker so we're going to go like right over that color that we just put down so right here pack it on we don't really want to swirl it in i mean you can swirl it in if you would like like this and kind of get that blending motion that's really what the blending brush is for so that's what i'm going in with now to get that more put together look per se <sighs> so next all i did was take the color lynn which is a really pale shade in the palette and i blended out the look so it'd be more flawless and put together and then i weaned it out so how i weaned it out was i took this brush right here it's more of like a concealing brush you can also make a wing while taking your blending brush and pull it together but i find this one to be more precise and just more nice for me this is my personal preference if you have a different way you do you do but this is the way i like so i took the shade 1985 and i kind of just pulled it like this and i cut it a little line and since this is more of a hmm, a more lighter shade I say I kind of just like pulled it and since I can move these colors really nicely you can't really do this with every palette it just depends on what you're working with um I kind of just pushed it in so it would have like a more nicer little blend together so yeah that's that step on to the next one now I'm aware that it just kind of looks the same and it kind of looks like I just took off my concealer my eyelids are just really dark right now but now we have a shape where we can get our base on where we want the look to go and I also have a color so it can transition it'll be more flawless I'll have more pigment so next I'm going to take this shade and this shade and I'm gonna put it right into my crease and I'm just gonna lay it there right now because then I'm going to be taking a blending brush and I'm going to blend that look. girl if you think you're done blending think not because yeah you still need to blend it's just, it's how it is. You think you're done and you're not. Just keep blending. Blending is everything. You can never blend too much. Well, you can. If you're lifting up your colors, you're probably blending too much. You might want to lay them back down or redo it. But keep blending, sister. Um, we're coming from James Brand here. Sis. Ooh. Next, I'm going to take a bit of a darker shade. Like, it's a step. We're going to take, I think we might defend a high dude from the Morphe. <laughs> The Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. And we're gonna, I'm using a really thick brush for this, so I might, I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna use this brush and lay it down. Cause this part, I'm going to dip it more into the outer part of my crease to deepen my crease color. Because we don't want like a flat crease. We want a deep crease. It will hurt. <laughs> That's not how anything works. But essentially what I'm going to be doing is it's going to look really bad at first, but then we're going to blend her out and that's going to be okay. We're just laying it right into here. And you can take it into your crease more. I like doing that so it's not like really harsh because I'm, I have it further right here. You want to concentrate it onto the outer corner and you can just kind of blend it with a little brush treasing to get the little color payoff. Just a little. You don't want it too much. We're struggling, aren't we? Um, because we'll blend this a little bit, bit out later. By later, I mean next, because we don't we don't want her looking like a mess. And we're gonna go dip back into it and just get our color payoff because that is what we're here for, sis. 
and I'm gonna take it deeper onto the little corner. Um, by here, I'm kind of just taking it right on the outside. I'm a medical, I should know this. Iris, maybe, sure. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I mean, I really should know this. Like, I had a whole lesson on this. That's just how it be sometimes. Um, yeah, love life. I'm just gonna take it totally, totally, totally over girl mistakes were made but we're fine we're taking it totally into our crease like it's we're we're not taking it so much as if they were taking it the direct color and taking it into our crease we're taking what we have left and dragging it because we want to further our illusion of our eye you know drag it out we're here six we're deep I'm not gonna say anything. Um, <laughs> we're just, we're gonna blend now. Okay, yeah, we're just blending it. This is a really thick blending brush and I actually wanna try this out right now. So I'll let you know what I think of this blending brush. I'm too scared to use this, honestly, during any look because um, it's, she's we're a big. struggling sister. Um, we're taking 1985 and we're just gonna mix that with Lynn and we're gonna, we're gonna blend it. Because we don't want it to be too harsh, but we want color there, right? Yeah, we want to look like it's natural. That's the key thing with makeup. I don't like this. I want a smaller brush. I'm taking my normal blending brush, and I'm just concentrating it. This one's clean, so I'm just concentrating it, and I'm winging it out. That's what we're focusing on. So I'm just going to go back into my crease now and make it circles. So it'll be cute and lovely. And when you're doing this do the little circle motion you can also do a windshield it'll help to blend it um like if you don't know that because that's the name of the brush um <laughs> i love life guys and earth diving and as you're doing it make sure you're slowly flicking it towards the outside so you're elongating your wing shape so now that everything's blended out i'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and i'm going to place it so i can get it out I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me one, by the way. It's a little bit watery, but I do like it. I don't know, I like watery concealers a lot. I'm placing it kind of like on the little hole, the little indent in the eye area. And all I'm gonna do is take my concealing brush and I'm just gonna blend it right here. The reason why I'm doing this is to create a straighter line. And plus I have a little bit more discoloration right in that little area. So the area that you have more discoloration in, I would start off there and pat it in and don't blend it out too much right there. Kind of just drag it out because that will give you more coverage with, um, yeah, like that. I'll give you more coverage because you can blend that out and it hasn't looked fire. It'll be cute. Trust me. So it's kind of burning because I have eczema on my eyes. So that's cute. I love having skin conditions when you're okay. Period. <laughs> Rude. I thought my beauty blender was behind me, but it's not. I'm sorry, guys. I just, like, turn around sometimes, but, like, it's fine. We know. You don't want to blend. See how I'm not really blending this area out too much? I'm just, like, dabbing in. Ow! Ah, oh, girl. Dabbing in lightly. And I'm just, this part right here, I'm really blending in, trying to get that Mine as large straight as possible. I don't think you want to make sure that I do. I would. And you want it. It's not offensive, so please don't think it was going to be an offensive joke. That's my dog, by the way. She's just kind of chilling. Um, it would not be an offensive joke. I don't make offensive jokes. Please don't think that. I don't know if she's not going to say it because she's not that funny. Honestly, that way. So. Now that everything is snatched, we're gonna take our concealing brush. I keep throwing everything behind me, which I really need to stop doing. So we're just gonna grab. I'm gonna take the concealing brush and I probably really shouldn't. I probably get a clean brush. So if you have a clean brush, you do this. I don't. So I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna dip back into that shade blend, the really pale color, and I'm just gonna kind of like I don't know, I like this kind of it's really brightening, so I'm just taking it along it, and I'm, like, kind of patting it in. 
And what I'm going to do afterward is I'm going to take the Beauty Blender and kind of blend it so it's more pushed in and it's not like sitting on top. And it looks really cakey. We don't like cakey here. We're not here for that, guys. You want cakey? I would go somewhere else. I am sorry. I should probably, I'm going to move. There we go. Sorry if you like to see my dog. We're just, we're the star here. Period. <laughs> I hope you guys don't think I'm like that. I'm really not. Sorry. Oh, black eyes, I don't think you would have heard that. I don't have music playing, so. What I said was, I got black shadow everywhere. We are thriving. On to the next step. I can't do here. I think I'm going to do beginner look right here and then more medium to it's not expert because i'm not an expert so i'm just okay so what i'm gonna do on this eye is kind of beginner so i'm just gonna take the color lynn that dipping in the same concealer brush that i just did and i'm gonna take it and pounce it in so i'm just you know we're just going with an extra shape we're just that's how we're going with this yeah i mean because most people really don't have time for it anyway so it's not even beginner it depends on if you have time or not, too. And some people just want to get and go. So we're just brightening it because we like our brightened lip. So, yeah. Cute. So, next, I'm. Why do I keep throwing it behind me? Girl. It's fine. Next, I'm going to go back in with this other concealing brush. She's just a little smaller we're gonna take hmm, i'm gonna go in with mr diva and i'm also gonna go in with a little bit of channel and i'm gonna tap it off guys always tap your brushes so they're just gonna it's gonna be a hot mess and i'm going to blend them two together i'm placing it right i hope you guys see my palette we're tasting it right into like the middle of the two so you can incorporate them together and then i'm gonna pound it off Take back into Lynn, and where it's in the, this part where it's more white, I'm taking it and blending those two shades together. I just, I like going in with a buffing brush. Buffing brush, I don't think this is a buffing brush, I think it's more of a packing brush. <sighs> kind of like blending it together. So we're just gonna blend. Blend, blend, blend. Cute. That is the beginner eye or the take your time eye. Take your time eye. No time eye. <laughs> now we're going to go in on this eye and show what you can do. I really hate how the camera mirrors it because I really look wonky mirrored. Like, I don't look bad unmirrored, but like mirrored sis, I look scary and I don't appreciate it. iPhone should really fix that. Really, any camera should fix that. It's just, I'm not here for it. Why am I putting this feeling on my hand, girl? I like putting it directly on my eye. I find that to be my direct application application. Application. You can also put it on your hand, as seen here, and just blend it that way. So getting my good old makeup wipe, and I'm cleaning this concealing brush a little bit, so I don't want too much powder or concealer to get on there. So I can just have a clean application. So I'm just looking up, and oh, girl. Mm. We're good. And we're blending. Not blending. We're moving it. I'm sorry. <sighs> Such a makeup person. That's that. Now you just put powder and repeat that same step that you did over here. All applying the concealer did was allow me to have a lighter base so that the color will be more bright and pigmented. The light is kind of away on this side, so you can't really tell right now, but when it comes back, you'll see that this side is a lot brighter than this side. I mean, it allows for a kind of a difference, but it really depends on which look you're doing. So say you're doing a really colorful look, like maybe purple, and this whole wing was purple and you wanted to lay down a yellow. It's just, it would make a huge difference if you lay down a concealer and then put that color on over it, depending on which look you're doing. We love having transitions. I don't know if it worked, but if it does, it'll be cool. Um, I do have lashes and mascara on. I would normally do bigger lashes, but I think they have reached their limit, which means I have to go get new lashes. And the ones I normally use are Ardell Naked 422. They're so good. I love them. I think I'm going to branch out my lashes, though, because a brand reached out and my, my 
try them next to see if I can get an, an ambassador ship thingy, you know? Yeah, I have my lipstick on and we have this look ready to go. It is set, it is done, and we are looking like a snack today. You know, you're looking like a snack. But sis, we're good to go. If you're going through anything right now, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate, is that the right word? Yeah, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will be here for you. I am a safe zone. I am, I'm here. I don't share information. Please don't feel afraid, especially if you're feeling suicidal. Number one, please call the helpline because they can help you probably a lot more than I can. But if you don't want to talk to someone like that, I'm here, please. Or um, if you're just feeling down, rant in the comments. I mean, you do you, boo. I'm, I'm a safe zone. Um, anything, just anything. Yeah, um, next, um, you will be seeing this look on my Instagram, which is XX Makeup by Miranda XX. My TikTok, which has a lot more makeup TikToks, is Miranda.Myers with three S's. And I also have a personal Instagram, which is the same thing as my TikTok. Um, you can go on there. If you do go on there, please don't leave any hate. Or if you don't want any of my accounts, don't leave hate because you can just scroll, comment, block, or unfollow. We are not a house for negativity. So, yeah, that's this video, and I hope you enjoyed. I know this one was a lot more of a mess than yesterday, which is kind of funny. I don't know. We're here for it. We're learning. And that's all I have to say, guys. 